The universe is a crazy place. From solar system sized black holes to neutron stars that could turn you into a pancake if you ever got close. However, one thing I feel that is often overlooked when discussing the craziness of the universe is temperatures, specifically how insanely hot and cold the cosmos can get. But what are temperatures? They measure how much energy particles have. The more they move and vibrate, the hotter they are. And if they're barely moving, well, that's as cold as it gets. Let's start with heat. For reference, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level, and the the hottest natural temperature recorded on Earth was 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit in Death Valley. Then how about our sun? Its surface reaches 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and its core can reach a staggering 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Next, supernovas, some of the brightest and most beautiful things in our universe. At its core, supernovas can reach 1.8 billion degrees Fahrenheit. Remember when I said the hottest natural temperature on Earth? Well, that's because we've reached a lot higher in a lab. We've reached an insane 7.2 trillion degrees Fahrenheit at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider by smashing gold ions together at near light speed, creating quark gluon plasma. And just for fun, what's the highest temperature possible? It's called the Planck temperature and is 1.417 times 10 to the 32nd Kelvin, or about 100 million 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 degrees. Now let's go down to the coldest temperatures. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest natural temperature recorded on Earth was negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, measured at the Vostok Station in Antarctica. How about the moon? Temperatures near the equator can drop to around negative 208 degrees Fahrenheit at night. That's pretty cold, and we're only halfway there. Surprising, right? While the hottest temperatures can soar to trillions of degrees, the coldest don't even surpass three digits. The average temperature of space is around negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit, and the coldest area of space is in the Boomerang Nebula, with a temperature of negative 458 degrees Fahrenheit. Before moving on to the coldest temperature we've reached in a lab, I first have to talk about the coldest temperature possible, called absolute zero, which is negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit, or zero Kelvin. Absolute zero represents the point where all molecular motion ceases. Sounds cool, but this temperature is fundamentally impossible to reach due to quantum fluctuations and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which prevents all particle motion from completely stopping. However, we've gotten insanely close. The coldest temperature ever achieved in a lab is 38 trillionths of a degree above absolute zero, which is equivalent to approximately negative 459.669999999916 degrees Fahrenheit, achieved by researchers at the University of Bremen in Germany. Isn't it amazing how at some point a place on Earth was the hottest place in the known universe, and somewhere else was the coldest? 